Moving ahead. Ah, my good fellow. Quite the cosy setup you have here. I'll just make myself comfortable. Thank you so much. I was just settling in and reviewing my latest findings. Mind flayers, cultists, and, of course, your esteemed company. <laughs> Why, I'm practically an expert. They've tentacles, you know. Quite shocking. The druid Halson had some kind of mind flare specimen in a jar in his quarters. A replica, no doubt, but truly fascinating to see up close. Here, on the Sword Coast. Impossible. That, that can't be. You're either an excellent storyteller, or you've experienced something quite exceptional. Hmm. Tell me, have you noticed any residual psionic malaise since the alleged encounter? Curious. Elithids, their technical name, form a hive mind. One shouldn't be able to hear their dark whispers. Unless... That's quite impossible. You'd have undergone ceramorphosis by now. If what you say were true, you'd be a mind flayer by now. You? Infected by a mind flayer? <laughs> Ridiculous. Isn't it? Perhaps that's for the best. I'd be irresponsible not to debunk such a strange claim. If I just peer in your eye, I could quickly... Oh, dear sweet God! I mean, yes. I suppose I can. I'll need to research the particulars, however. Give me a bit of time, and I'll have this little issue sorted. I should speak up. <clears throat> Grab your bags. <clears throat> We're moving. A scout just reported. The goblin's leadership has been decimated. We might escape this place yet. And I hear you are the one to thank. I'm grateful. I took a collection from all of us. It isn't much, but you've earned it. Very good of you. Thank you. Halsin will likely want to thank you too, Mind. He returned just a while ago. I believe he's catching up with Corker. As for us... No armies at our heels. Amazing. We can finally leave. But perhaps we need not speak of farewells. We'll join your camp tonight to celebrate if you'll have us. I 
expected goblins at our gate any moment. Glad to say that you made a prettier sight. Watching gods. While I was training children, you were out cutting down an entire goblin camp. What a mess. I wonder if the goblins have anything valuable on them. I'm going to have to write a song about you now, aren't I? But truly, thank you. It's nice to be done with the sad songs. For a time. We're ready to head to your camp. Are you? didn't want us, and those druids sure as hell didn't either. But you, you risked your life for us. I left my sword in the cave. Don't tell, but I don't want to touch it again. I'm glad you killed all the goblins. I hope you made them scared. Here. I want to go home. Yes, Mum. Check. Point. I knew this would come right if we just stayed positive. Not that your blade didn't help, too. God, it seems we might actually make it to the city now. Hope the neighbours are a bit more welcoming. Don't know why everyone's cheering. We're just going back on the road. You do good work. If you can handle more than goblins, might be I'll have use of you in Baldur's Gate. Always a deal to be done. Even now. This. Mattis, this is junk. Waste of effort hauling it. Mattis says we should say thank you. Remember? I'm glad you didn't die. No discounts once I'm running the wider Boulder's Gate, mind. We did it. We actually did it! You'd be proud of you. I'd have put good coin on you running off into the sunset. But you did it. You stopped the goblins. Thank you. You took care of the goblins. Nice work. With the goblins dead, we might actually make it to Baldur's Gate. I'm glad you came through it alive. We owe you more than we can repay. You've solved one problem for us. Guess it's on us to solve the next. You killed the goblins. Hope you made them suffer. Weapons we have on show, the less likely anyone will give us trouble. Let us go! I wish to feel the road beneath my hooves. Taste the fresh grass. The younglings are a nuisance. But the road would not be the same without them. Thank you. We made it somehow. Now we just need to get to Baldur's Gate.
thought you'd left us to our fate running off like you did. Glad I was wrong. Back to worrying about road rations it is. So many mouths to feed, but, well, that's not a bad problem to have. Thank you, truly. One sorrow ended, the next soon to begin. We, did it. we didn't die today. Tomorrow, perhaps, but not today. Thanks to you. Boulder's Gate, we're coming. We couldn't have held them back on our own. Thank you. Glad to see some goblin blood spilled for a change. I was sick of running from those rats. I nearly dispatched those goblins myself, but it seems you managed well enough. And why wield a masterwork where a butcher's blade will do? My thanks, truly. It was you, right? Who took care of the goblins? I knew you were a good one. So it's true. You scattered the goblins. Peace can finally return to this corner of the Sword Coast. Thank you. As am I. And I'm sure those poor refugees would quite agree. Of course. Very well. You saved us. I wasn't sure we'd make it through. Took it upon yourself to undertake the right of thorns. I ought to exile you from this place forever. Instead, I shall listen to the explanation that you owe me. An error, most grave master. I beg your grace. Grace is bestowed by nature, not me. You will stay as a novice anew. You have forgotten the ways of the druids, the natural order of things. It is up to you to prove the lessons have been learned once more. So as you say, and so it is done, Master. She shows great insolence, but time will humble her, and the Grove still needs her. You will soon see why. But enough of that for now. I owe you my thanks. The Grove stands. Nature prevails, and again, I am in your debt. Speak to Wrath. He will reward you for your efforts. The journey to Moonrise Towers, and all the dangers that that entails. But that's tomorrow's problem. Take some time for yourself tonight. Rest, celebrate. Come morning, I'll be by your side. Sylvanas, Sylvanas, keep you. You think you saved us? 
You just prolonged the inevitable. Sooner or later, other outsiders will bring trouble to the Grove. We have to pull it together. I know you stopped the goblins, but I can't stop looking over my shoulder. It makes it hard to sleep at night. Well, at least the sun is nice. You should try it. Lay down and bask in its warmth. We're free of the goblins, but the grove is changed, wounded. The days ahead won't be easy. I'm glad we have Halsin to guide us. Do you hear them? The birds? They're beautiful. I've thought of nothing but goblins and tieflings for so long. I stopped listening. We wasted so much time fighting each other. Sylvanas taught us a lesson by letting an outsider save us. I hear the goblin leaders met their ends. Unfortunate for them, but very fortunate for the Grove. I wasn't sure about you at first. Thought you might be trouble. I was very wrong. Pace is returning to the Grove. Oh, we have you to thank for that. You've done it. You brought House in back. Thank you. No, thanks is not enough. May Sylvanus bless you for all your days. I cannot imagine taking on a camp full of goblins was a simple task. As am I. The Grove will be whole again. And I promised you a reward, didn't I? Let me show you on your map where you can find the cash. Take this rune. You'll need it. Place it among the pedestals inside our library. When the wolf glows brightest, everything in the vault below will be yours. I think it's high time you all left. Our sacred grove has sheltered you enough. Within the inner sanctum, of course. It is not for us to fight your battles. I assure you, the feeling is mutual. But when Halsin departed, the shadows truly took root. I should have resisted. It should have been different. All focus. Wings still a little stiff, but I'm getting stronger. Blessed day. I was worried I'd never see Master Halson again. You kept your word. Thank you. Look, I'm sorry. I didn't know what to do when you told me about that tadpole. I don't know if I can ever restore Sylvanus' peace to this place. But I'll have the chance, thanks to you. Hmm. 
glaive the druid's notebook mentioned. Its owner thought it was cursed. Let's go. Hmm. If there's fighting... We're ready to head to your camp. Excellent. Lead the way. Have a drink. I'm fine. Uh, loosen up, Icarus. No, no. An Albert. <laughs> Would you look at this place? All these people. Happy because of us. It's nice to be somewhere where good is still possible. And with good potations, too. Fuck yes! I'm celebrating my freedom, and our friendship, and these folks' bright future besides. All I need now is a fire-retardant lover to get lost in till sunrise. So much. You spend the whole time avoiding swords and schemes. Plus, people just get nastier as the night wears on. I tried to make friends at first. Learned my lesson fast. Better to keep to yourself in hell. Ah, come on. Let's not spoil an effective thing. You point, I rage, we win. Doesn't need to be more complicated than that. Hearts are quiver. Raised up those. Here's my little treat with their cheeks all flushed. You will come to my bed tonight, won't you? Ah, you need a bit of. Enticing. Let me see. Hmm. How about this one? All these accolades from the tieflings are nothing compared to the sound of my name cried from your lips. Hmm. Let me give it another go. Every part of your perfect body whispers temptation. It's as if the gods made you just to ruin me. Well, they worked on you last time, didn't they? How about if I said these little words? Everyone's favorite. I love you. <laughs> I am. It's hard not to with you. 
Now, as much as I relish standing around and saying all my favorite lines at you, I'd much rather we got to experience each other's uh, full portfolio of talents once again. I look forward to the day. Meanwhile, my hunger for you will only deepen. No, no, an Albert. Would you look at this place? All these people happy because of us. It's nice to be somewhere where good is still possible. And with good potations too. Yes, I'm celebrating my freedom and our friendship and these folks' bright future besides. All I need now is a fire-retardant lover to get lost in till sunrise. Ah, come on. Let's not spoil an effective thing. You point, I rage, we win. It doesn't need to be more complicated than that. Have fun. Look at them all. Guzzling poison like we've the right to be happy. Hmm. Perhaps it'll make the evening more tolerable. Dost thou require a new ally? Everyone seems to be in high spirits. Strange. You know who I never thought I'd find myself caring for? Exactly right. Never gave them much thought. Certainly not that bunch in the grove. Yet we came through for them. We saved their lives. Odd. Something like that. I was taught to reject anything that distracted from Shah. But there'll be time for penance later. Can't slow down. We should have had wine more often. More warming than the fire. <laughs> That's my girl. Already feeling better. I have seen the Kithraki tear a screaming Niogi's legs from its belly to fashion into blades. Yet, they could not match your nerve today. It was enough to drive me to madness. I smell their blood on you still. I smell your moisture. A glorious reward for a glorious battle. Go on, have your fun. And do not wipe away a single bead of sweat. It's intoxicating. Here's my little treat with their cheeks all flushed. You will come to my bed tonight. Won't you? Ah, you need a bit of enticing. Let me see. Hmm. How about this one? All these accolades from the tieflings are nothing compared to the sound of my name cried from your lips. Hmm. Let me give it another go. Every part of your perfect body whispers temptation. It's as if the gods made you just to ruin me. Well, they worked on you last time, didn't they? How about if I said these little words? Everyone's favorite. I love you. 
I am. It's hard not to with you. Now, as much as I relish standing around and saying all my favorite lines at you, I'd much rather we got to experience each other's uh, full portfolio of talents once again. I'll be waiting. You have no idea how good it feels to see these people smiling. The singing we could probably do without, but even so, thank you. You came through for us. That's a change from most adults I know. I don't owe anyone. But if you mind your manners, maybe I'll remember you when I'm running the gate. This might be the wine talking, but I'm feeling inspired. Thinking of writing my next song about you. But I need an angle. Any ideas? But of course, you achieved something far beyond mere fact. That deserves to be remembered. Hope you're enjoying the night, hero. I certainly am. Cheers to many more like this. Go on now. Don't waste a night like this talking to me. We'll discuss your problem tomorrow. In truth, I rarely imbibe. The stuff goes right to my head. Before you know it, I'd be breaking into song or declaring love to the first person I laid eyes on. then you have never heard me singing, which makes you very fortunate. Hmm, I'm sure there are. You strike me as extremely resourceful. But there are many grateful people here who want to spend time with you. I must not keep you all to myself, as enjoyable as that may be. Go on, enjoy yourself. Seek out some wine before it runs dry. There are a lot of thirsty people around here. Uh -huh. I do hope you have partaken of something bracing. This may well take us all night. Why, your naming, quite obviously. That ballad was but a crude preview, a frame without its crowning jewel. Your nom de guerre. Something iconic, but not too much of a mouthful. We don't want to exclude the common folk, after all. I intend this tale to enrapture all. Not to meddle in your side of this partnership, but slaying goblins is not exactly the stuff of legends, is it? After all, I'm quite certain I once saw one expire from the strain of spelling his own name. No, I'm afraid that won't do. You shall simply have to go out and slay something decidedly more dramatic. Hmm. You can take that back. It's in the way. Celebrate. I appreciate that you're proud of your victory, but it's just that. Yours. Walbrin is still missing. And there are gnomes trapped in Moonrise Towers. Me drinking beer won't save them. You leaving would help my concentration. <sighs> but if you insist... Celebration.
beautiful night, don't you think? Nothing like a brush with destruction to make one appreciate the majesty of a celestial canvas. It's a view I would once have shared with my companion. Though definitely unaccompanied by such revelry. She preferred it when we were alone. Curled up before a crackling hearth with some ancient esoteric tome between us. Ink glinting in the firelight. <laughs> By a Geron's lost nose! No! Tara is not any cat. She's a Tressum. Given your confusion, I'm guessing you've never met one. They're brilliant creatures. Fine company for any self-respecting wizard. She'd be most impressed by our efforts saving these tieflings. Proud, even. And I've given her little to be proud of recently. After I was afflicted with my condition, I locked myself in my tower for an entire year. It was inconsolable. Wallowing in my self-inflicted tragedy. I've given up on myself. But Tara never did. It was her encouragement. Her research that led me to my treatment. Once we knew that magically infused items were the key, she went out to find them for me. She saved my life. After so long being cared for by someone else, it feels good to have repaid the favor. Not directly to Tara, but to these poor tieflings. I'm sure she would approve. Smart does her a disservice. She's a fine wizard in her own right, though somewhat held back by her lack of opposable thumbs. Remind me of her somewhat. There's a steeliness in you, an unwavering tenacity, even in the face of, to be frank, quite dire odds. Wish she were here for me to make a formal introduction. But I would never ask her to undertake such a journey. She's safer at home. Besides, she was always telling me I needed to spread my wings, so to speak. Find mortal friends instead of hanging on to Mistress' coattails. So that's what I'm doing. I hope. Ah, wine is to wit as meat is to... to... Oh, I can't bloody remember it. There I go then, proving your point. Perhaps we'd better leave it at that. My ineloquent tongue isn't worthy of your ear at present. Go. Indulge in the frivolities. They're good for the heart. And mine will be all the lighter to see you enjoying yourself. I like these people. They're, They're joyful. joyful. It's, it's contagious. Red people. Blood people. Sherry! That's infernal for cheers. Or possibly turnip. I need to dance! No. No, I need to lie down. Patience? Have you no respect for showmanship? Having performance issues, Roland. Hush you. And behold! Adoring applause? You're too kind. Remember when he could barely cast that? They grow up so fast. Never have I met such troglodytes. Now, pass the wine. Think of it. No more caves, no more tents, no more running away. We'll be in a city with roads and markets and... Holmes.
Ah, hells. I was hoping you wouldn't notice I was gone. Really? I'm honored. In truth, I don't feel in a festive mood, and I didn't want to cast a gray cloud over the night. I'm a devil. I love the people from the Grove, but I unsettle them deep down, as I seem to unsettle everyone nowadays. You don't want a devil at your party. Horns this sharp will pop the balloons, you see, and the guests won't take kindly to scars quite so monstrous. Ouch. You don't need to mock me when I'm feeling low. But off with you. This is your day. Have a dance. Enjoy the music. <laughs> I'm afraid my feet are firmly planted to the ground this evening. Some time alone beneath the stars and I'll be back to my old self. Promise. Still, it's a night to remember. You've made sure of that. Buzz of celebration quiets to a soothing hum as you approach your bunk. You've picked up a few pleasant memories on your journey amongst your struggles. Your heart skips a beat. What treasures might this night bestow? I hoped you would come. <laughs> I have missed you. And now you're all mine. And I'm all yours. Until morning, at least. Let's see where the night takes us. I trust you enjoyed your evening. After all your efforts, it was well deserved. It may be some time before you're afforded another such night. There is much to be done, and I promised I would help you however I could. I'm certain a cure for you can be found at Moonrise Towers, but it's complicated. The journey specifically, it's extremely perilous, though it seems you're well accustomed to navigating danger. I suppose it was too much to hope we were going to be cured here and now. To Moonrise, then. To get to the towers, you'll need to pass through a terrible place. A cursed place. This curse shrouds everything in shadow. You will not find life, light, or anything natural there. Any who linger are twisted by the curse. They become shadow beings, tormented, dangerous souls. You could go overland, along the Risen Road or through the mountains. Easier at first, but you'll run into the Shadow Curse eventually. You could also go under. There is a tunnel somewhere in the ruined Temple of Saluna. It leads to Moonrise Towers through the Underdark. Long ago, a man called Ketherick Thorn built a secret stronghold deep down there before rallying a whole army of Dark Justicias, Shah worshippers. Dark Justicias? I must see for myself. Aridan and his lot were looking for a way down there. They were promised riches if they retrieved a relic called the Night Song. But I think there's more. From this stronghold, Ketherick's forces could access both the Temple of Saluna and Moonrise Towers. But he was defeated before he could launch an attack. If you can find this place, I'll wager it will reveal a more direct path to Moonrise Towers. And maybe even bypass the worst of the Shadow Curse. Anything is preferable to risking the Shadow Curse. I would like to join your camp, if you'll allow me. I can offer my skills, my counsel. I've long sought to return to Moonrise Towers. It seems our fates have aligned. Unfinished business, and a lifetime of regret to repair. 
I helped overthrow Ketherick Thorm and his Dark Justicias years ago, but I failed to prevent him from unleashing darkness across the region before he was defeated. I spent years researching the curse, trying to put an end to it. Nothing has worked. Yet, if I can join you and get close to Moonrise, perhaps I can lift this curse. Same as you may find a cure for your infection. Precisely. Then perhaps I could have done something about both the Shadow Curse and Ceramorphosis aberrations. But in my eagerness, I put far too much faith in the abilities of Aridin and his band. We didn't even get close. I've chosen a successor as first druid, Francesca of the High Forest. A bird's already been dispatched to summon her. Wrath has promise, but he has a ways to go yet. He wasn't able to stop Korga by himself. The Grove needs experience, and a strong hand. The Grove needs to move beyond the mistakes of the past. What it needs is an unknown quantity. An outsider who can enforce the Oak Father's teachings without bias. This is why I chose Francesca. She will restore simplicity and purity to the Grove in my absence. Contrary to how some think of us, we druids can play politics when necessary. Now, we've quite the journey ahead. Best get started. Do not be so impatient to move on as Halsin. As ever, the Githyanki Kresh remains our priority. <laughs> I did miss that face, you know. Soldier. Speak. What are you doing? Hold up before they see you, Mark Gresham. Look, down there. That lot are swarming all over the bridge. I don't know what they want, but it can't be good. I'm going to find another way around. You ought to do the same. Unless you're looking for a fight, that is. Nobody. Just another harassing fool trying to stay alive. There's plenty of us around. What? Just follow you around. I go my own way. Alone. Rag. That's it. I'm getting out of here. Drop your weapons! I'll feed your innards to the ants before I do that, Istic. This is your, your last chance! No, look up. That was your last chance, Istic. Now burn! Wasting time, Beretha. You're not here to play with the locals. Of course, Kithrak. We merely sought to. No excuses. Question, kill, then move on. Find the weapon. Our queen watches us. Fail her at your peril. A red dragon. I envy its knight. Would that I rode such a steed. A crash must be near. Come, my kin await. The dragons serve Githyanki. I'll see it does you no harm. Follow me. We are close to the cure we seek. Whatever comes, I'm ready. All right. What 
now. I must. The light on my feet. The command of a Kithrak, young one. Ryder, my time is short. Lead me to... Shh, shh, shh. Such a familiar tone. Were I not merciful, I would slice the skin clean from your meat. Yet you are not bleeding. For I am nothing if not merciful. Your name, child. Lazel. Lazel. Proud. Regal, even. You will call me Gestil Kithrak. Vos, Knight Supreme, the Queen's Silver, the Queen's Sword. I am who you say. A Gake vessel has fallen from the sky, Lazel. Thieves aboard have taken a weapon most precious. It is polyhedric in shape and inscribed with the sacred runes of our people. You feel Shadowheart's anxiety. The weapon that Vos seeks is the same one the Absolute's followers are hunting. It's the artifact that she carries. Her mind focuses. The Gith's suspicions cannot be aroused. They cannot discover that the weapon they seek is right within their grasp. Take word to your crash. You are to join our search. Speak up, child. Affirm your mandate. You honor me with this duty, Kithrak. I shall alert my caretaker with haste. The Kithrak nods, content with Lazel's answer. You serve your queen well, child. Take your slaves and hunt those who escaped the Geich ship. They must carry the weapon. I fly now to Vlakith, our undying queen. She will see your faith rewarded in this plane and ours. A current of deception carries Voss's words. Wherever he flies, it is not to Vlakith. To Danos! To the sky! Damn it all! You did well to intervene. Vexed as I am to admit it, that a still Kithrak would have flayed our skin and left our carcasses to burn in the sun. All for the sake of the artifact that we carry. The crash is near, this much we know. We follow the path forward and into the valley. No one, not even the ignoble Gestil Kithrak, will keep me from my purification. Contraptions are hot ticket item. Might not be our last scrap for its sake. It seems the Githyanki are keen to reclaim the artifact I carry. I can't afford that to happen. In fact, none of us can. That thing is shielding us somehow. I don't want to know what happens if we lose it. Agreed. There's not much we can do but press forward. Still warm from the Red Dragon's fire. Detour. Like that dragon destroyed the road. Baldur's Gate, northwest. Elturel, south. Moonrise Towers, west. Road closed. Detour ahead. Already feeling better. Gith Yankee patrolling these wilds is an unexpected surprise. Whatever they seek, 
They'll not hesitate to kill us if we stand in their way. The Gith Knight is as merciless as the dragon he rides. That we still have our heads is nothing short of a miracle. If the Gith are looking for that artifact, then we may have something valuable on our hands. And it's a powerful weapon to boot. Things are starting to look very interesting. Oakfather's blessings to you. I studied one up close. Closer than most would care to be to those things. A drow attacked me and I defended myself. Afterwards, I was able to examine the tadpole that emerged. Hideous, but fascinating. Like nothing else in nature, I'm glad to say. Impressive. Most would quake at the mere thought of delving that far into the Underdark. What did you find? Hmm. Keep looking. It may prove impossible to avoid the Shadow Curse entirely. But if you find any way to limit your exposure, seize it. Well, there's hardly anyone left to share the responsibility with. Few who witnessed the fall of Moonrise still draw breath. What Ketherick Thorm unleashed is not something that nature can undo by itself. I must do what I can. I studied the Shadow Curse for years, but to truly understand it and stop it, I must reach its source. Perhaps, but we'll need to get closer before I can put my theory into practice. Put it from your mind for now. Once we near the curse, then there will be more to be said. <laughs> there are few things that are too strong for me. And cast those regrets aside. You did not get caught up in the moment. You seized it. In other circumstances, I would have done the same. A bad impression. <laughs> Impossible. With such stimulating company? <laughs> Never better. Speak. <laughs> I did miss that face, you know. goes nothing. I wonder if the gods are watching me. Might be useful. Wait. These markings. Tirsu script scratched in the ground. A crash must be nested in the temple below. We must go there at once.
You don't have to trust them, only to trust me. I have not failed you yet, and I have no intentions of it now. I don't need you to believe me for it to be true. Very well, you may lead. But if we stray too far that our chance is lost, I'll make my way there alone. Something good here, I hope. Blessed be you, pilgrim. Take respite now in the dawn's loving gaze. Looks like the thunder. God of the dawning sun. Yes! Who goes there? Ah! A friendly face. Oh, you are a sweet, sweet blessing, my dear. You know, I've had nothing but trouble all day. I've been accosted, chased, insulted. Look over there. Do you see that wretched little hive? Oh, it certainly looks that way. But inside, it is swarming with brutish, stupid, rude Githyanki. Brutish and rude by your wretched standards. But stupid. Chucky. Your charming companion would call it a creche. But it was built on what remained after the Githyanki slaughtered all of the monks. I'd call it a murderous training camp. Acutely observed on both counts. Honestly, I was doing them a favor offering to buy one of their eggs. And how am I repaid? Attacked and run off like some transient. What? No, of course not. I was merely... Well... Uh... Look, it's just an egg. The Society of Brilliance asked me to acquire one of their row so they can incubate it and, once it hatches, raise the spawn in their tradition. Please, do enlighten me. What is this tradition? The society believes a Githyanki raised in a peaceful, nurturing environment can overcome its violent nature. I'm sure your friend would agree. A Githyanki is as likely to forsake its violent nature as a gnome is to fly. Well, yes, but now we know better. Only some of you are bloodthirsty terrors. But if you believe in this cause so strongly, why not help the society prove your point? They may have chased me away, but surely the Gith would welcome a person with such sympathetic views to their crash. And once inside, you could simply... 
purloining egg. Steal one of Gith's own. I will slit your throat for even suggesting it. I'm not talking to you. You'll be well compensated, of course. Just bring me an egg. I should hope so. When adventure calls, I am always thoroughly prepared. Take a look. Now, I believe... Have you given any more thought to the retrieval of that Gith Yankee egg? I might have a few trinkets worth a glance. Apio! Have you given any more thought to the... Oh, you wonder... Hold on. It looks different to what I expected. Are you sure that's a gith egg? How excellent. Here is, as promised, your reward. You've proven an exceptionally efficient friend today. I hope we can work together again. Defender of the people. Checking things out. Don't waste a step. Wish I had a bag of holding.
taking position. Taste my fury. <laughs> for me.
Absolute's forces have taken father to Moonrise Towers. A powerful asset. Just what are their intentions, I wonder? The corpse regards you lifelessly. I summoned them to fight against to buy time to escape with Raven God General Tom's order to bring him to the absolute. The corpse remains silent. Stumbled. I didn't realize they were here. Leader of true souls, chosen of the absolute. The corpse remains the spell's path. Broken. Need to find another way. That might be worth a look. Walk in the way of dawn, for the thunder cannot protect you where the light does not wait. course a moment to indulge an old man may i inquire if perchance you retain among your traveling companions a man who adheres to the given name of gale should it be the nature of our acquaintance that interests you well you may safely classify gale and i as friends should it be the nature of your present interlocutor that you desire to drag from the dark and unknown, then I shall be glad to aid in your quest for illumination and identify myself as Elminster. Elminster Omar. Now, if this answer satisfies you, let us linger no longer in this limbo of indecision, but settle on your knowledge of the individual I seek. Uh, ever a man of leisure. Would it pain you greatly to assist me along the little voyage I intend to undertake to this aforementioned camp? And I would confirm it to be so. Please, after you. My thanks for your excellent guidance. Ah! And yonder I spy the object of my pursuit. Elminster? The very same, Gale. And a fair bit miffed he is, too. Finding himself forced to expose his best pair of boots to so many miles of country road on your behalf. I don't understand. How so on my behalf? I was bid to spare neither time nor my own self to find you. She sent me, Gale. You know of whom I speak. But why? Out with it, Elminster. Please. Young man, has your sojourn away from Bordity washed away your decorum as well as your patience? Nigh a ten day I've gone without honest fare, worthy of the name, drank naught, but what the sky entitled my thirst. Why, some bread, cheese, 
and a cup of wine would appear unto me a feast. Surely you won't begrudge me a mite of rest and repast before I get, get out with it. Oh, for the love of... Fine, fine. I'll turn a deaf ear to the clarion calls with which my scorned stomach beseeches me. Graver matters are at hand. Plenty to digest, after all. A good deal to stew over, if you will. Words ladled with import should be savoured so as to better absorb their meaning. Wouldn't you agree? Alminster. Right. Um, you see, I, um, well, that is to say, Gail, my boy, I've come to address a most pressing matter. I'll speak as plainly as I can, forswearing the accustomed frills that decorate my speech. I'm here on behalf of Mistra. The message and the charge I bring you are hers. Thank you for that most considerate reminder. You know where you went wrong, Gail. No, we needn't dwell on that here and now. But even so, you're to be given a chance of redemption. Mistral would consider forgiveness. She would consider what she considers to be forgiveness. Mistral is aware of the misadventures that have befallen you both. She knows of your strife with the absolute, that most insidious of evils. They choose the instruments of their will with great precision. Sometimes the single drops we think we are do not realize what waves we are building up to be. Do not discount yourself. And by the same token, do not discount your enemy. You must know that the absolute is more dangerous than you can possibly conceive. It threatens all who live, even those who are undying. It threatens the gods, the weave, the very fabric of the universe itself. That is why I have come here to charge you, Gail, with its destruction. It is Mistress Belief that only you can. The Orb. Precisely. Mistra has granted me the power to stop the clock, as it were, on the Orb's rush to overpower you. Instead, you will be able to unleash its lethal combustion at will. Interesting. This could be help or hindrance. We shall have to see. You must find the heart of the Absolute, whatever that may be, and use yourself as the uh, catalyst that will burn it from this world. He is not. But it seems that Mistra is. It brings me no pleasure saying this, my friend. But such is Mistra's will. Yours must be the sacrifice that will undo the absolute. And for your sacrifice, you will be redeemed. Such is Mistra's promise. With that, I've said my sorry piece. And need only bestow unto thee the charm I was bid. Maina hastra mistra ril Italion thras annas
it is done. Both charge and charm have been committed into your care. To you, I commit into care Gael himself. I count on you to shepherd him well on this strangest of journeys. Or some other fortune altogether. Like moons make swell and wane the nescient seas, so too the sky-struven gods ordain the tidal fates of mortal days. And yet, an ocean born in lonely hours, come ebb, come flow, come all that is beyond the breadth of our dominion, be a moon unto yourself. Even the waves of fate can break upon the shores of will. Farewell, my friend. Farewell, Elminster. I'm glad she chose you. Thank you for a great... Oh, was that Gail's granddad? Wonder if he's a wizard too. He's certainly got the beardliness for it. Why did he come all this way to track us down? <laughs> Whoa now, he's got a... Well, I guess that would explain a little, but... Mistra. I mean, this is a lot to take in. What's he going to do? Well, tell him to pick the right one. Well, better yet, I'll do it. <sighs> Fucking wizards, man. They always need help picking the simple, obvious option. If Mistra can't think of another way to stop the Absolute than sacrificing Gale, she's no god worth worshipping. I'll say that to Gail in, you know, gentle terms. Already feeling better. I can't believe Mistress demanding Gail sacrifice himself to destroy the Absolute. It's just a waste of a perfectly good cult that we could be controlling. And a waste of a perfectly good Gail, I suppose. An audience with Elminster is never less than memorable. I'd have hoped to introduce you to him in less dire circumstances. But those are hard to come by these days. A wizard doesn't reach Elminster's age without enjoying their home comforts. Those who seek danger over cheese don't tend to live as long. For Mistra to have sent him, the severity of her bidding could not be clearer or weigh more heavily on me. Time seems so infinite when you're young. A month is an age. A year is a lifetime. It is a strange feeling to realize how little of it one might have left. Of course. We offer the clearest solution to our problem. All I have to do is find the right place and time, close my eyes, and let go. Then the slate will be clean. Wrongs will be righted, the absolute will be gone, and I along with it. I've no doubt she has the power to do so, but as for the permission, Ao would not look kindly on her meddling in mortal affairs. Divine intervention has a tendency to make things worse, not better. As for Elminster, he saved the realms more times than legend can recount. But to take on a god is no easy feat, even for him. My orb is the best chance we have, and only I can wield it. If there was, I'm sure the goddess of magic and the greatest wizard who ever lived would have identified it. But alas, 
Only one solution is offered. That remains ahead of us for now. The heart of the Absolute must be discovered before I can stop its beating. Let's save such certainty for the moment such a decision is upon us. We may feel differently once we know what we're truly up against. What's on your mind? She expects those who seek to use the weave to do so honestly and with respect for its potential to destroy as well as its potential to save. I doubt she's asked many of her followers to blow themselves up. That's a fate she's bequeathed exclusively to me. She wouldn't ask such a thing if it weren't our only means of survival. However much she's annoyed at me. Oh, you know me, never the optimist. I'm trying to focus on the positives. Truth is, I was living on borrowed time already. Consuming those items would only have kept the orb sated for so long. If anything, I feel more at peace than I have in months. At least now I know my death will have purpose. It won't be a distant bang in the footnotes of history. You wish to speak? A shame my first brush with the famed Elminster couldn't be a tad more optimistic. Listen, I might invoke the Triad from time to time, appeal to Helm, but I'm no man of faith, not like Gale. I don't know what drives a man to consider his own death among countless others to be an appropriate exchange for his goddess's forgiveness. To me, it all sounds like nonsense. The faith that matters most is that which you hold in yourself, in the ones that most matter to you. Big Bomb be damned. Gale's got everything he needs to defeat the Absolute already. Talent, nerve, and powerful allies at his side. I hope he'll come to see that. Seems simple enough. I can't believe I'm actually venturing into a Gith stronghold again, voluntarily. This had better pay off. I've seen them at work before. I wasn't alone in my mission. All those who were sent with me were slain by Gith Yankee blades. They must want that artifact back badly if they're dispatching red dragons in pursuit of it. But we cannot afford to lose it. I wish I'd never been sent on this mission. Yes. And she acts as Lady Shah's voice amongst mortals. She must be doing the Night Singer's bidding. I just don't know what it all means. All will be revealed in due time, I hope. Wouldn't you be in my place? If there's even the slightest chance that Shah worshippers remain within our reach, we should try and find them. Even if they're all long gone, and that seems quite likely from what we know, who knows what they may have left behind for us to use? My people are nothing if not resourceful. As long as I prayed to Lady Shah, I've wished to serve her as a dark justicia. There is scarcely a greater way to fully dedicate yourself to Lady Shah, save perhaps if you become the head of her church. To become a dark justicia is to become the Night Singer's sword arm, her implement with which she will cast down the unbelievers and win the final battle to restore her perfect, endless darkness. It's all I ever wanted. I prayed it was my calling. But Mother forbid me from seeking to prove myself worthy of the rank. She said I was not ready. Not my mother mother, I should add. The Mother Superior, head of Lady Shah's enclave in Baldur's Gate. 
Sometimes I wonder if she would ever deem me ready. I owe her everything, and I only wish to serve, yet she can prove... inscrutable. I can't believe Mistra actually expects Gale to just sacrifice himself like that. Seems like a waste of a fine mind. Elminster. Even the Githyanki have heard tell of the Sage of Shadowdale. Some of his works have been translated to Tirsu. That doesn't mean his every word carries wisdom, however. Near as I can tell, Mistra demands Gale's faith, but holds no faith in him. Why else would she demand Gale sacrifice himself, and perhaps so many others? Does she not think he can destroy the Absolute with his own immense talents? Does she not know the mighty company that he keeps? Demanding Vlakith may be, but she acts for the good of the Githyanki people. Mistra is concerned only for herself. Bah. Perhaps he'd find forgiveness in a fiery death. But I can't help but wonder why he'd want it at all. The cr Hey, soldier, I... <sighs> well, I'm not feeling so good. <sighs> My engine... It's getting worse. <sighs> Feels like it's gonna burst out of my chest. <sighs> we need to catch up with Damon. See if he's thought of a way to fix this thing. If it can be fixed. Well... I imagine it's lights out, Big K. And then it'll be just you, your parasite, and the wild yonder. I'm sure you'd manage. But this old girl's got a few things to do before it comes to that. Soldier. Approach the fairy in Lathander's grace. May his gaze shine upon you, pilgrim. That's not going to work.
with purpose. So you might as well shove off. Steel. Eagles are bigger. They just take. Nest. Prey. Everything. That's how it works here. <laughs> well, it feels rubbish. I miss my roof nest. Oh, it's a good lookout spot for food. Oh, it's not even like the eagles need my nest. The drunk lizards they eat aren't hard to catch. While quite vague, drunk lizards could well point to kobolds who tend to operate in packs. you think you can, then please, please kill the eagles. They're the worst. Thank you. I'll keep an eye on the roof. Rude bastards, those eagles. Deserve a little comeuppance. Lazel, are you sure if the greeting will find at this crush of yours? Of course I'll be welcomed. And if you behave, you may keep your head too. I can count on you to vouch for me, I hope. Don't worry. You're more useful to me alive. Don't mind if I do. That's curious.
That's enough. On your feet. Where are you taking us? If this is about that weapon your friend was talking about, we don't have it and we don't know shit about it. Silence! Move! No. No, 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 I'm not going in there. I won't. Anyone want to join her? As I thought. Through the doors. Now! The captain is expecting you. Forward, carefully. These cultists have the crash on high alert. So the Gith Yankee aren't fond of the cultists. Could be a good thing. The corpse regards you lifelessly. <laughs> Path to Moonrise Towers. Absent gathering. Coalescing. Orders from Little House under a hill somewhere. Don't remember. Scared, hurt, bad things. The Yankee torture chosen. Of the... The spell's pal. Within the artifact, a feeling stirs. Uncertainty. Your curiosity is getting the better of you. Do not let it stay away from the Githyanki. They're hunting you. They want the artifact. They'll stop at nothing to take it from you. Hmm. <clears throat> 